everybody, welcome to the final section of chapter 6, 6 decimal 4, rational equations. So remember the difference between an equation and an expression. An expression uh, does, has, um, doesn't have an equal sign, right? Where an equation does. Okay. So what we have here are some examples. x equals x minus 3 over x plus 1. x over 4 minus 7 over x is equal to 3. So first thing in the steps of solving, first you've got to factor each denominator. Um, you want to identify any non principal values. Multiply both sides of the equation by the least common uh, divisor, right? Least common denominator. And solve by isolating the variable on one side of the equation, and you can check your answers. I won't be checking answers, but again, you can check your answers just to make sure that they are um, they're going to work, right? Okay. So I'll check them uh, on a calculator. Um, you can check them on, your, on a piece of scrap paper, whatever the case may be. But that's how we're going to work through these questions here. So let's look at the first example. It says solve the following equation, identify all non-permissible values. All right, so there's a couple ways you can approach these. These ones here, um, what I would do in this first one is what I do is I multiply both sides by the least common um, denominator. So first of all, identify least common denominator. A lot of you are probably saying, okay, the number is going to be 4 and the variable is going to be x. So the least common denominator is what you see here is the 4x, and you'd be correct. So what you want to do is you want to multiply each term by 4x. That would be the easiest way to do this. So I've just recopied the original equation. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to show this um, all in red. I'm going to show what I'm doing with it in red. So multi first step, as you read above, says factor each denominator. Well, all the denominators are factors. Nothing we can do there. Identify the non-permissible values. Well, we know that x can't be equal to 0. I can write that in now if you wish. Um, so we know x can't be equal to 0. I'll put that in the red. All right. So then we uh, multiply the equation by the least common denominator. We've identified the least common denominator is 4x because the numeric value is going to be 2 and 4, so that common denominator is 4. The variable is x, so it's 4x. So what we do is we multiply all the numerators by 4x. All right. Oh. And I'll just do that in the right so you can see what I'm actually doing here. All right. So multiply this by 4x, multiply this by 4x. This one here is quite easy, actually. All right. So then our next line, what we're going to do is now we're going to multiply those out. I'll make this one all red. Okay. No equal sign here in the front because there's an equal sign already. In the expressions, when you're dealing with expressions, you have an equal sign down the left side of your margin. But when it's an equation, there's no you don't have two equal signs. Two equal signs in one line uh, doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, when you're dealing with equations, mind you. So I'm going to make this all red. So 5 times x is 20x, okay? And again, some people will divide the x first, it's fine. 4x times 3 is 12x, and 4x times 9 is 36x. Or some people will identify, oh, the 4x and the 4x can divide. It's whatever you're comfortable doing. So I'm just going to make it 36x for now, okay? Again, it's up to yourself. So 20x divided by 2x, we're going to simplify that, and that becomes, and you're going to love this because it simplifies uh, quite easily. Um, these ones are nice, all right? So that's going to be 20 divided by 2 is 10, and x divided by x is eliminated. Then we have um, plus 12x divided by 4 would be 3x equals 36x divided by 4x would be 36 divided by 4 is 9, and x divided by x is gone. And it simplifies down to this, which is beautiful. Okay. So, now we got to get the 10 to both sides. So we subtract the 10 from both sides, right? And we get negative 1. 10, 9 minus 10 is negative 1. Divide both sides by 3. Right, divide both sides by 3, and then we get x is equal to negative one third, and we state our not permissible value there. And again, like I mentioned, you can check this if you wish. Um, it's up to yourself. Um, I'll, I can put it in the calculator if you want, just to show you. So I'll bring up my T84. All right, bring up the T84 for a minute here. And uh, we can plug it in. 
So it's going to be 5 divided by bracket. It's negative 1 third. So it's going to be 2 brackets, negative 1 third bracket. And that's multiplied by 2, right, because it's 2x. And then close my bracket. Right, and that's going to be plus uh, 3 quarters. All right. And that is equal to negative 6 decimal 7, 5. All right, so negative 6 decimal 7, 5. And then what we'll do is we'll write the other side. So it's 9 divided by bracket 4 multiplied by bracket negative 1 divided by 3. Close my bracket, close my bracket, and I get negative 6 decimal 7, 5. So that shows that it's um, the correct answer. The left side and your side is equal to the right hand side. So I didn't do that on my page, but you just punch it in my calculator and bingo, you're good to go. Okay? You're all set. All right. So now we'll go to B. Uh, B is interesting. We have, and you probably remember having, um, maybe your teacher called it cross multiplication. It's up to you. So what you would do is you would eliminate the um, denominators, right? So I multiply this side by x minus 3 and this side by x minus 2, and boom, it, it works out well. So I'll show you what that looks like um, the proper way, okay? So now I just rewrote the um, original. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the common denominator. Remember, the common denominator would be the two denominators multiplied together. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this by, and again, I'm going to do this in the red just so you can see. So it's going to be x minus uh, 3, x minus 2. And do the same thing here, x minus 3, x minus 2. Okay? Do it to both sides. Did it in the red just to show you what I did in that step. Now remember, this x minus 3 is going to divide with this x minus 3. This x minus 2 is going to divide with this x minus 2. So you actually end up with, oh. so when you divide these, this is eliminated with this, then this gets eliminated here. So you're actually left with x minus 2, oh. x plus 2. So you're left, the only thing, this is gone, right? If you want me to show you that I could, but I, I don't think it's necessary. But I, like I said, I could. Um, and x minus 2 divides with this x minus 2, leaving you with x minus 1, x minus 3. All right? And then that's it, right? So the x minus 3. Remember, um, you may remember doing this with just with, when you had regular fractions. It worked out really nice. Um, these two are a little easier than some of the other examples, but they aren't, uh, they're not too bad. Okay? And you're not finished yet because you're solving for x. So now this is where you got to multiply, right? So x times x is x squared. Negative 2x uh, multiplied by x, so it's going to be minus 2x plus 2x minus 4 equals, um, we got x squared again, minus 1x minus 3x plus 3. So we collect like terms, so we'll bring everything to one side, right? And if you take the x here and the x here. Subtract it from both sides. Um, I'll show it if you wish. So I'll take the x here. Uh, subtract it from both sides. Right? And then we x minus 2 plus 2. That's actually gone. Add the 3x to both sides. Right? And then add 3x. That's gone. Add the x. So that's actually add another x here. So that's 4x. And take the 3 over. Um, that's gone, the x squared minus x squared, obviously. And then take the 3 over, um, or actually I'd bring the 4 over the other side, sorry, so plus 4 to both sides, right? Plus 4 to both sides, which gives you 0 here. Leaves you with 4x. Right, 4x equal to 7. We add those together. And then now we're just going to divide. Again, I skipped some steps, but these are steps you guys should know by now, right? I, I do believe that, so 
it's going to be 7 divided by 4, divide the 7 by both sides, right? Or divide the 7, or divide the uh, both sides by 4, 7 over 4, 7 fourths, or 1 decimal 7, 5, right? Um, you know, I don't like that, but if you put in your calculator, 1 decimal 7, 5 will be easier to plug in your calculator just to check. I do a check if I were you. So let's plug this into the original. All right, so let's look at the original. Original is x plus 2. So it's 1 decimal. 7, 5, uh, plus 2, right? And then we're going to divide that by 1 decimal, 7, 5, subtract 3, close your brackets, and you get negative 3, okay? Uh, for one side. And the next one, what you're going to do is you're going to do x minus 1. So it's 1 decimal, 7, 5, oh, 1 decimal, 7, 5, minus... 1, which is decimal 7, 5, divide that by, make sure you open up your bracket, 1 decimal 7, 5, subtract 2, close your bracket, and you also get negative 3. So both sides are equal to negative 3. There's your check. You can't get these wrong. It's beautiful. You get your final answer and you're done. And the one thing I did forget to do, and I, I tend to do this sometimes, it's an easy fix though, is I go back and I write in my non permissible values, which are both denominators, so it's 2 comma 3, right? or 3 comma 2, whatever way you want to look at it. That's it. Can't be 3, can't be 2 from the original equation. All right. So I'm going to stop there, and we'll do uh, the next page, number page 14 after these, just with the interest of time. I don't want to rush through it. So we'll see you back again in the second video for 6 decimal 4. Thank you.